TVET. TVET or Technical and Vocational Education Training is an education, training or learning activity which provides knowledge, skills and attitude relevant for employment or self-employment. TVET describes all kinds of formal, non-formal and informal training and learning wherever it occurs, institutes, school, training centres or in the workplace or site of productions. Non-Destructive Testing One of the field under TVET is non-destructive testing. The term non-destructive testing, or NDT, is defined as technology that tests materials or components without destroying, damaging, modifying or degrading the testing specimen. This is generally required for parts which are to be used after testing, for example, aerospace material components and structure and also construction under in-service inspection, but even for unique parts of archaeology and culture. There are five general methods in NDT, which is the first one is PT or penetrant testing, UT, ultrasonic testing, RT or radiography testing, ET or eddy current testing, and the last one is MT, which is also known as magnetic particle testing. The importance of NDT as a tool is an undisputed fact due to its ability to detect, locate, and measure defects in specimens. This information would then be used as guidelines in order to evaluate the viability of the part based on specified codes, standards and specifications. Working as NDT personnel NDT personnel have a great task and responsibility with respect to their employers or contractors while maintaining the rule of good workmanship. They must be independent and free from economic influences with regards to their test results. Otherwise, the results are compromised. Entity personnel should be aware of the importance of his signature and consequences of incorrect test results for safety, health and environment. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Jamil and I'm from CIRIM Standards Technology CIRIM High. And I work as uh, my position is an uh, NDT engineer, and I'm certified as a ultrasonic testing level two, radiography interpreter, and advanced NDT phase three level two. Uh, we have to deal. Uh, I mean that a very uh, critical. Uh, engineering component so from there we have to decide either the component is accepted according to standard or not so I can say that this uh, NDT personnel I mean that this NDT job I can say is a uh, uh, I can say that is this the uh, professional level or maybe uh, like uh, professional engineer in, in order to you to decide the structure that uh, you stay is accepted to the standard and safe to the end user. Working conditions. Generally, NDT personnel often encounter conditions where the safety of personnel could be in danger due to local conditions or where application of particular NDT methods or techniques could be in itself compromise the safety of personnel and other in the vicinity. They work in hot, cold and humid environmental conditions and may be exposed to radiation and toxic, electrical safety, fumes and hazardous materials which possess potential for injury to personnel. Employment Opportunity Entity in aerospace materials, components and structure have the opportunity to be employed in aerospace industry. There are four focus areas to support the growth of this industry, namely Maintenance, Repair and Overhaul or MRO, Manufacturing, Avionic and System Integration Training and Education. Employments are available in commercial, military, cargo and transport aircraft involving local and international players as well as government agencies related to aerospace industries. Malaysian market 
in Malaysia market, the economy outlook for the aerospace industry is very attractive. The aerospace industry has been identified as one of the key business services by the National Key Economic Area or NKEA. Major local aerospace players for NDT are Mars Aerospace Engineering Senior Bahad or MAE, SME Aerospace Senior Bahad, Aerot Senior Bahad, Sepang Aircraft Engineering or SAE, and CTRM Aero Composite Senior Bahad. International market. The global engineering services industry alone, according to Pemandu, which is an agency under the Prime Minister Department of Malaysia, is forecast to grow to 3 million ringgit Malaysia in 2020. With the aerospace and automotive engineering services sub segment reaching 1 ringgit Malaysia billions. To achieve the targets, more foreign direct investment to develop Malaysian's capabilities are needed, as well as training centers in the country. Therefore, for the students who are furthering their studies or enhancing their skills in entity fields, there are no worries for them not having job opportunities either in Malaysia or internationally. Okay, my uh, suggestion or maybe recommendation, uh, especially for the TBAC program, okay? And uh, in my experience, I recommend that uh, for all the students, especially in Polytechnic, to participate any program that related to skills or TVET. And maybe you can take the NDT certification skill, or maybe you can participate uh, wedding inspection, or maybe other certification, uh, other certification that uh, equivalent to the uh, international level. Uh, from there, uh, I think if you uh, participate this program, uh, you will value added to your diploma or maybe to your degree uh, in order to uh, increase your chance to penetrate yourself in the industry. With this, we can conclude that Although the polytechnic education system is trying its best to implement and enhance TVET, especially in additive fields for the technological development in the country, one of the most important features of TVET is its orientation towards the world of work and the emphasis of the curriculum on the acquisition of practical skills. Therefore, all students and lecturers must participate in all activities which promote TVET, such as awareness program, and practical training, which can give massive contributions in developing an effective TVT program in Polytechnic.